guys how are you i thought we would do something a little bit different today hopefully that's all right i get in such a makeup routine and i end up using the same products over and over and over again until i get something new and then i replace it with that new thing and then i keep using that over and over and over again and i tend not to go back and retry the stuff i used to love that's still sitting in my drawer and i just don't use it anymore. So I went to my makeup drawer and I pulled out all the stuff in every category that I have used the least. So basically like the foundation, the concealer, the powder, the eyeshadow palette, etc. that I haven't used in the longest span of time, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but I do want to be clear, this is not stuff that I hate. If you've been following me for a few months, you know I recently decluttered all my makeup and I got rid of all the stuff that was just sitting there that I didn't like. Or I just never used and I only kept the stuff that I actually liked so the stuff here is not stuff that I hate it's stuff that I used to love but just got replaced with something new and I kind of just want to try it and a see if I still like it and b try something different do something different to my face than I've been doing for the past like year so yeah hopefully this is kind of a fun interesting video I'm interested to see if I like this stuff as much as I did you know a year two years ago when I was wearing all of this. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I loved this stuff for most of 2016. I had terrible skin then, I was breaking out all the time, I had scarring, and this is the stuff I went to constantly. I remember this stuff had like the worst pump ever. Oh gosh, here we go. You can tell I haven't used this for a while and I'm a little worried for, to put this on my face because it looks a little old. This does have pretty good coverage, I will give it that. I forgot how full coverage this was. It does smell kind of funky, which makes me a little nervous to have this on my face all day. Now for concealer, I have the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I go for less thick concealers nowadays. So, this will be interesting. This actually also has fairly good coverage. I don't know that I like it better than like the Tarte Shape Tape or the Maybelline Fit Me or like other liquid concealers that I use, but it doesn't look bad. Now for powder, I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin loose face powder. I don't hate this powder, but I don't love it either. It's kind of like in the middle. There are a bunch I like more than this. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what my justification was for keeping this, because this does not look good. That's so rough. Okay, yeah, I might not be keeping this. For contour, I have these two Makeup Geek contour shades. One is the Cool Fair and one is the Warm Fair. And this one is too cool and this one is too warm. So I'm gonna mix them together and try to contour with it. I feel like I don't use these because they're so pigmented. Like with other contours, I can just use the stippling brush and it looks normal and this looks terrible. I'm not good at contour so I like the foolproof version and these are just so pigmented that like they're so easy to mess up. Can't say I'm a big fan of those to be totally honest. For bronzer I'm going to use NARS Laguna. I actually really love this bronzer. I just can't stop buying bronzers, so some of them inevitably fall to the back of the pile. <laughs> Alright, and then for blush, I'm going to go back to these Makeup Geek powders. Um, this blush is Infatuation, and this one is Spellbound. And I think I'm just gonna mix the two. Again, I like these blushes, but I feel like they're just super pigmented. And I like a more like natural, subtle, bronzy type of blush, and these are just a lot. <laughs> and then for highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Haven't used this in forever because it's super bold. I like this highlight, it's just not my favorite compared to like 
Becca highlights or my NARS highlight or my Essence one. I like the more like subtle, natural looking ones and this one is just very obviously a highlight <laughs> and very obviously gold. So I like it, but it's not, it's not one of my favorites. All right, I went ahead and did my eyebrows, so now I'm going to do my eyeballs. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. Looks like this. I really like this palette, I just never know how to use it. Like, it's just very basic, and I like that about it, but I also don't like that about it at the same time, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So first, I'm gonna go in with this like cream shade and just put that all over my eyeballs. I think I'm gonna go in with this peachier color. And this is the part where I'm like, now what? <laughs> I think I'll go in with this like light brown color maybe. And I feel like this is where I hit a roadblock with this palette because the colors are so dark and I like to keep it pretty natural on like a day-to-day -day basis. And once I put in like the light crease colors, I'm just like, I don't know where to go from here. So yeah, I know that's boring, but I feel like I'm just gonna keep it like this. <laughs> I feel like I need something to brighten it up. I'm gonna try and take this white. This could go horribly, horribly wrong. And just put it right here. All right, I know that's boring, but this is why I don't use this palette very often, because I just don't know what to do with it. All right, and lastly for mascara, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex. I used to love this stuff, but I've moved on to other things, and I just don't really use this anymore. And again, I'm kind of afraid to put this on my face because this is pretty old. <laughs> not pick out a lip color but I wouldn't know how to pick one over the other because I have so many that most of them don't get used on a frequent basis <laughs> overall I don't hate it I think my under eyes look a little bad um, that powder just did not do a very good job um, mixed with the concealer or something but overall I think it looks fine I kind of feel weird because I'm so used to like my normal routine um, if you'd like to see that let me know if you want me to do like my normal um, everyday makeup routine that I've been doing lately. It's a little more natural than this. I think less full coverage, but you know, it's a makeup routine. It looks fairly similar, <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, but let me know if you'd like to see that. Yeah, let's get on with my day. Okay, it terrifies me that this is not gonna stay, but I framed one of the poems from the Taylor Swift magazines and hung it up on the bathroom wall. I love the look of it, but I tried one of these monkey hook things and I'm just, I'm kind of scared. But this is what it looks like. And then here are the pictures I stuck right above the toilet. <laughs> I got these from the album booklets as well and I got the frames at Target. And they don't sit perfectly because I was stupid and I got like the frames that are supposed to stand up on their own, so I have this thing in the back. So they don't go all the way to the wall, which is kind of annoying, but I think it looks so cute. I hung up a clock. <laughs> this was actually a gift, but I believe it's from Target. It's really cool, just like all white looking clock. I've lived here for like four months, and for those entire four months, I have been afraid to hang things up just because once you do it, you can't take it back. <laughs> but I did it. I hung stuff up. I officially live here now. <laughs> I can't take it back. <laughs> it feels weird. I've stooped to a new level of weird where I watch YouTube videos on my television. <laughs> is this something that people do? Because this is like completely foreign to me that I discovered how to do today. And it feels weird like watching it on a TV it makes it feel like it's more of a production than I normally feel like a YouTube video is. It's so strange. Like it's such a weird, like contradicting feeling. Have you ever watched YouTube on your TV? Let me know because it feels really like out of place for me and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> 